Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is the startup tutorial for the F86 Sabre in DCS World. Don't forget to press that like button and click to subscribe. There's going to be more cool stuff coming out soon. New videos every week and I'm embarking on an F86 campaign very, very soon. Right then, let's get cracking. First thing you need to do in the F-86 is talk to the ground crew and say, turn on the ground Chief, electric on the power. Ground power. And they'll say, Gabby. Gabby. And then they'll tell you it's on. Once that's done, you're going to come to this right-hand panel. Ground power is now on. Okay, power on. Right-hand panel, you want the engine master switch to the on position. We're then going to press and hold the battery start switch to the starter position for a few seconds, and then knock it up to battery. So starter switches. One, two, three, four, five, and boom, into battery. Now you'll see the RPMs have going to rise to about 3%. We're going to look at our throttle. We're going to press home once. That's going to bring the throttle to the idle position. And then that's about 9% there. As we can see, we're going to press home again, and that's going to bring it to the idle cutoff. Now we're going to shut the canopy. You can either left control and C or right click the switch. That's the canopy closed, and then of course, turn on our oxygen. Don't want to suffocate. We're now just going to watch. We can see that our hydraulic pressure is low. We could activate the alternate power switch, excuse me, the alternate hydraulic switch, um, but we don't need to because we're going to wait for the engine anyway. So, engine's spilling up, the exhaust temperatures are getting back into the green, the fuel flow is fine. Hydraulic pressure's building now. The reason we need that. And because at the moment our flaps are in the sorry our speed brakes are in the out position so we're going to close our speed brakes by pressing b you can't see them from here you can get the ground crew to tell you ask your wingman but i've put them in so they are now in and then we're going to deploy our flaps ready for takeoff so we'll see them going down there now it's f on the keyboard or it's this handle here next to the throttle now that we are on our own power, we are going to tell the ground crew to turn off the ground Chief, turn power. Off the ground power. And that they're going to respond, copy. Roger, or copy. Our wingman's over there. Ground power is now off. Okay, ground power is now off. Now, we've still got the hydraulic pressure warning light on. To reset that, we just left click this button here. And that resets the hydraulic warning light. So, we're going to press and hold our nose wheel steering button. And we're going to push the RPM forward, or the percentage on the right hand side there, to about 70, 75. We're going to get forward motion and we're going to start to taxi. We bring that power back off. We don't want to accelerate and then flip over. Let me close the ATC menu. I will cover comms and a separate uh, lesson. This is just the startup taxi takeoff so you can get airborne and practice flying around. I'll also show you how to switch on the gun so you can practice shooting things as well before you come into land. Okay, so we're going to roll onto the runway here, and then we're going to allow ourselves to just crawl forward a little bit to make sure our nose wheel is straight. That's good enough for me, and then we're going to put the brakes on. So now the brakes are set, flaps are down, all we need to do is slowly build up that um, throttle. You see the percentage coming here, passing 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Coming up to 90, I'm going to gently come off the brakes, throttle at full power. Then I'm going to just going to a little bit of left rudder there just to centre myself again. Then I'm watching the speed now, so speed's over here. We're passing 20 knots, 40, 60 knots, 80 knots, 100 knots. We're going to rotate at about 140 to 150. So that's 120, 140. So we're coming past 150 now. Rotate. We're going to gently rise. Positive rate of climb. Gear comes up by pressing G or dragging the handle up. And then we're going to run flaps up. And I'm going to set up a little bit higher in my seat. Trim up the aircraft so we don't nose into the ground. So we are airborne. Now, that's it for actually getting airborne in the F-86. It's nice and easy. If you wanted to activate your weapons, you're going to look behind the stick and find the gun missile dial. Right click that twice the guns, then your A4 gun sight comes on. And then if you want to activate your guns, look at the left wall. Right click it to all guns, and then you're ready to rock and roll. I will of course cover uncaging the site using the radar 
and uh, getting targeting information in another tutorial. But for now, this was the startup taxi and takeoff of the F86 Sabre. It's a little beast of a module. Thanks again for watching. If you want to subscribe and help the channel grow, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to check out my friends over at the Air Warfare Group and come along and join us at Tactical DCS on our Discord for all the help that you need, as always, free. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out!